Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I have for you another brilliant chess game of great Magnus Carlsen. This game was played on 2004, with white pieces this game is playing Yurtaev and with black Magnus Carlsen. And today I will speak about the power of two bishops. Two bishops are strong in the open positions and are strongest in the end game. And that's the topic of this video. I will show you how it's important to believe in your two bishops. I will show you how it's good to follow games of Magnus Carlsen. And maybe I will show you how it's a good idea to subscribe our YouTube chess channel. So, let's go on. Uh, Jurtaev played short castle and f4. And that's a very famous position. Nothing special happened. Till now, Magnus played b5, and this is the first sign of counterattack against pawn on e4, what used to be the biggest white's weakness. So, make a sense that white played bishop f3 and uh, Magnus bishop b7 again is going to attack pawn on e4, and of course, without any doubt, white has too many ways how to defend this pawn. He decided to enter endgame, so he took on d8 and now played knight e5. Uh, okay, white still believe in his advantage, but Magnus Carlsen is going to save his bishop. He played bishop c8 and that's a good point of this game. He believe that in his endgame, his two bishops are going to be strong. Knight e5. Exchange, exchange, and check on c5, and bishop b6. Uh, okay, bishop d2, bishop f5, and c4. Uh, I think that the opening end without a winner, and uh, this position is double edge, say open or level, and I believe that both players uh, have got chances to play for advantage later on for a full point. So, uh, bishop d3. And knight d7. Okay, still both players are doing their best. They are improving their pieces. They are looking for counterattack. They are looking for chance to attack opponents' weaknesses. Uh, first, not the best move for white was this move. Now rook c1. It's not a great move. Maybe stronger should be knight c6. And uh, this is a nice position. Nice knight on c6 used to be a really <laughs> strong animal and it's a danger to black. Um, black would have to find this move and uh, black will have to take on c4 even after this sacrifice and bishop c3, bishop f2 and after all this uh, maybe this position is dead though. Yes, uh, maybe for a human it's hard to find this position and maybe for human it's hard to believe that all these moves make a sense. But that's a true coming from engines. Uh, White anyway played now rook c1 and Magnus maybe has a chance to prove the power of two bishops. Bishop f2 seems to be like a really strong move. What do you think about this move? And uh, maybe white has to play move d6. And after this exchange, uh, bc4, exchange, exchange, and f5, I, be, I believe that black is in control of the game. His pass pawn is much more stronger than white's pass pawn. And say that one day, this pawn has a bright future. Okay, I will follow knight c4 and b3 and now rook c6 and still black is, of course, on the right way. Uh, but Magnus played here now rook e8 and after b3 he played e4. Bishop e2 and bishop f2. And now it's the time to speak about two bishops. It's the time to speak how two bishops are strong in the open position. It's the best time to understand that 
the good player has got good pieces. Mm, if you are going to watch a white's position and black's position, you will you will understand where where is advantage. I think that uh, black players much more active. Um, black's uh, bishops are much more dangerous than white's bishop and uh, bishop f2 seems to me like the strongest black piece okay uh, after now rook f1 e3 that was the that was the move what magnus Carlsen played and still this position is really really difficult um, only one hope the last hope or only one move to be able to hold position for a while used to be this move so i'm going to show this variation bishop e3 and after bishop e3 and bishop c1 uh, white is worst but still it's not a game over you know there are some kind of compensation it's a big question if this compensation is enough to hold the game or if against magnus carlos and his position is lost but that's another game and another story because our story follows after move e3 what you what you remember and what you saw before uh, bishop d3 happened and after exchange on d2 and now rook e1 and after this move there's a final blunder uh, the game is over uh, maybe i'm going to show the strongest move and it used to be move g3 yes it's hard to imagine that uh, this difficult move it's not it's not hard to miss you know g3 move uh that's the point Where, where's the point i think knight e5 make a sense bishop c2 exchange exchange and bishop b6 uh, yes uh, knight c6 exchange exchange and take take uh, Rook e8 with very strong position for black. You know, since since uh, since wild time, I believe that white is missing something. You know, it's hard to hard to tell you what I'm missing in white's plans, white's moves. If maybe white was too passive or too pessimistic. But um, move by move, Magnus Carlsen improved his position. He did all well, and um, he's standing uh, not far from victory. But you know, after he, after this move, uh, White took on um, d2, and he's lost because exchange, exchange, and here Bishop e1. That's a double threat not only to rook on d2 but of course there's another threat <laughs> to knight on a5 and if white is losing peace without any compensation that's a game over and that's exactly the game over so let's make a short summary what we saw in this game we saw how magnus Carlsen played very well with his bishops we saw how he was aggressive and his playing position with extra ease and of course this position is lost and white resigned it it's good to remember that two bishops are strong in the open positions and are the strongest in the end game it's important to be active it's important to attack opponents pawns pieces and be the player who believe that he is the winner Hope you enjoyed this video and if yes, feel free and press like or press follow and made my day. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.